this video we will continue the series of Golang microservices and in the previous tutorial we were sending a request from post to comments. In this tutorial we will do the opposite but I will also add a feature that the comments microservice will have a 10% chance of failure when requesting the post microservice. This will cause that we will have uh, missing information in the post microservice compared to the comments microservice and we will fix uh, this problem in the next tutorial by adding cron jobs to synchronize the database. Now let's add this feature. So I open the projects, so this is the post microservice and this is the comments microservice and also I'm running the React frontend so if you haven't uh, built uh, this uh, app uh, check my previous uh, video on how to build this app now what we will change we are sending requests from uh, post to comments and uh, what we will do right now is we will do the opposite so i will copy this part and uh, when we create the comment we will send an http request from comments to posts but this time it will be different because uh, we won't handle it and this is a post request uh, the port is 8000 since uh, that is uh, the port for the post microservice and then point is uh, like uh, this we will send the post id which is a uh, comment post id like this and this uh, needs uh, a content type which is uh, application json and we need to send some data so the data that we will send is uh, the comment but uh, i will do it differently so i will create a variable body which is equal so we have a body and also an error which we won't handle it is equal to json marshall and uh, we will uh, send uh, the data that we want so I can use map here map of uh, string string and uh, I want to send only the text which is a uh, comment text like this so this is a uh, the request body that we want to send we want to convert it to json so we can send it uh, here because if we send it like this it won't work so not sure so i will create a variable url here so we can see the whole uh, request like this uh, this is a url and uh, the body uh, if we send it like this it won't work we will have an error so we have to convert it to json and here we will run bytes new buffer with the body and that's it this is uh, the http request that we will send we'll send uh, this information just the text and uh, the post request needs a url application json so the content type and uh, uh, the body which is this one so that's it for this uh, microservice now this endpoint does not exist so we need uh, to create it now so up this is a post request to api posts slash the id of the post slash comments and uh, this is a fiber function and uh, for the moment we don't return anything but uh, what do we want to do here we want to add uh, the comment to the post so we have here post and we have comments i can create here another table for the comment but uh, I want to do it differently uh, I want to add the comments 
as a JSON string inside the posts database because uh, that way it's more complicated and we will learn uh, more stuff than adding it like this. So I will change uh, the post struct, I will add another field, I will call it comments JSON as a string and uh, this uh, the JSON value for this will be minus so we won't show it when we return the post. So what is this uh, new field? All the comments that uh, we will uh, uh, send here, we will store it to this uh, column and we won't create a new table for the comments. And uh, we will see how to do it. And uh, we don't want to return that, co that comment JSON. Uh, we want to return the comments like uh, this. And the comments, I will change it. I will do it like this. We want only the text there. And we don't want uh, to have the ID and the post ID. So these are the changes. Uh, let's uh, also change it to the database. So I will open uh, the database here and run go run main.go. Uh, what is the problem in line 74? So I will comment this for the moment. Let's run main.go and we will see here that our posts table will have a comments JSON column. So we will have a title, description and the comments JSON. Here we want to add uh, that uh, uh, the comments that we create from the other microservice. And uh, the way that we will do it is like uh, this. First, we will get uh, the post here. So we need to get the post from the ID here. And uh, to do that, first we have to get the ID and an error is equal to strconv we need to convert a string to an integer so this is a function and the value is c params id so this returns uh, the ID as a number or an error here, which we won't handle it. And uh, with this, uh, we can uh, get the post, which is equal to post as a struct with uh, the ID as this ID here. But uh, this is a uh, unsigned integer, so I have to convert it again to uint like uh, this. And uh, we created a post with uh, this ID. Now let's uh, load all uh, the other information. So we will call db model post. First, uh, I'll pass this post as a reference. So what I did here is I got uh, the first uh, post with uh, this ID. So I got uh, a single post there. And now with that post, we want to attach comments there and uh, the comments, we will get them through the body. So I'll create a variable body, which is a map of string string. And uh, if we want to get the value from the body, we have to get it through the body parser. Do we have a body parser here? So I will copy this uh, uh, code here and I will paste it here. And uh, this is not the post, this is a body. So uh, in the body, we saw that we send uh, this uh, text here. And uh, this means that this body here will have that text. So let's insert that text to the post. And the way to do it is uh, like uh, this. First, I will uh, create a variable comments, which is a comment slice. 
And uh, these comments here are, uh, we want to convert the post comment JSON to these comments here. And the way to do it, since uh, that is a string, a JSON string to be exact, uh, we want uh, to call JSON and Marshall. We have to convert uh, the string to bytes, so we have to pass their post comments JSON, and we want to pass it to this uh, comments variable that we just created. So we converted uh, a JSON. Uh, uh, string to comments slice here and uh, what do we want to do now from the body we want to attach uh, the text so comments is equal to append comments so we will append a new comment there so we will append a new comment with the text as a body text. So that's it. The string, we converted it to a slice of comments and we just appended one more comment to that uh, JSON and uh, the comment was from the body so we parsed that value. And uh, that should be it. So now we appended it and we have to convert it back. So I have to, uh, I will create here another variable comments JSON like this and, uh, and an error is equal to JSON Marshall comments. So basically what I did here is uh, I converted it from string to objects and then I converted it back because I want to save it to the database. So DB model of a post where the ID of the post is equal to this ID that we get from the params. We will update the column uh, comments JSON to this uh, value comments JSON and uh, that should be it. In the end we will return C JSON of the post. So a lot of stuff going on here so you will uh, understand what is going on here when we test it now. So now we want to create a post and uh, this uh, post has comment JSON here. And uh, did I remove uh, this uh, request here? So I will uh, comment this for the moment. And uh, I need uh, also to restart uh, this up. And now we don't have uh, that uh, comment there. So I will uh, open it in your new tab. So this is the response that uh, we get. Uh, not sure why the comments are null because uh, the default value is uh, empty string there, but it doesn't matter. So let's uh, restart here the comments microservice because we made some changes and uh, we need to restart it once we make those changes. So we will send this text to this uh, endpoint and we will understand how it works. So in our post uh, database now, our comments J JSON is empty. And uh, when we create now a comment, let's uh, refresh this and we will see this now. So it will be a JSON with the comment that we just created. So the text is a comment. So this is how this uh, logic works. First, we get the post. Then we get uh, the body, which is uh, this text that we sent. 
then we convert the JSON of that post to a comments slice. Then uh, from that body we append another comment and then we convert it back to string and we insert it in the database. The result is uh, that uh, we will get uh, this uh, uh, JSON string here. And uh, we don't want to return this uh, JSON string because if we return it, it will be a string and uh, our, our React app won't handle that string. We have to convert it to a slice uh, which uh, currently we cannot, we don't do it since the comments is also null. That's why we need to uncomment again uh, this, but this time uh, we won't uh, send uh, the post request. So I'll remove this. Uh, the purpose of this is just uh, to format the comments JSON to comments. And uh, we have a variable comments here. And then we will call JSON and Marshall. We will convert uh, the JSON, uh, the post comments JSON to bytes, and we will parse it to those uh, comments. And uh, the, our post uh, with the comments is equal to that. So that is the only change that we will make. We will loop the post, and we will convert this uh, comments JSON to a comments slice and uh, this will be shown in the front end. So uh, I hope you understand me and if I save this and also we need to restart uh, the go up, now the response will look like this. So we will have the comments uh, there and uh, if we restart this we will see also the comment there also. So. This is how we will store comments now. And uh, one more thing, this uh, request, we don't handle it. And uh, sometimes it may fail and uh, we still won't handle it. And uh, I will also add a condition that uh, this uh, will fail 10% of the time. So I will make here an if condition if uh, a random that a random so like this we want a random integer till 10 if it is uh, less uh, than uh, equal to 9 then uh, we will do this request so what I'm doing here is uh, sometimes this request fails, but uh, also sometimes we uh, got a chance that we won't even send this request. I also will change this uh, to 8 here. I made a mistake because uh, this returns a number from 0 to 9. So that was... Uh, 100% chance of happening. Now this is a 10% chance of failure. So my mistake there. So with that uh, let's uh, also restart uh, the go up and uh, try to create comments. So I will refresh this and I will create comment 1, 2, 3, 4 and uh, let's see if uh, some of this fail. We I think some of them failed. The fourth one wasn't inserted. And uh, that's the only one, I guess. Uh, but that's 10%. So we can see now that the fourth uh, comment wasn't inserted. And uh, if we check the comments database, we will see that value there. So the fourth one, one, two, three, four, is not appearing here. So what do we do when we encounter this problem? Uh, we will fix this problem in the next tutorial by creating cron jobs that synchronize both databases. So this was uh, the tutorial till now. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.